and he brought them through the Red Sea. It talks about his arm and his strength and his power to deliver. Right? These, these Israelites had no power of their own. They had no ability to fight. They were, they were slaves. They were weak and, and abused and hungry and tired. They had no ability in themselves. But God's arm brought them out. And he flexed his muscle for them. And we've seen the city of refuge issue. We, the, the slayer, had no might to fend off the avenger of blood because it was too powerful. Because if he had dealt with one of the family members, another family member would come up. Because we know the Israelites had large families, right? The 12 tribes of Israel came from one father. Okay, so large families. They had no power and might of their own. So God flexed his muscle and said, I'll provide cities of refuge for them. And, and he's flexed his muscle in our lives and said, you have no power within yourselves. You have no ability within yourself to be free from sin. But I will flex my muscle and I will bring you out. And we read in Isaiah that he's saying, prepare the way. And he's going to come. But he realizes that, you know, you have no strength of your own. Because he's saying even the youth would fall. The youth, I think, of being very energetic and a lot of get, get up and go spirit, right? I mean, I remember when I could stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning and it would have no effect on me. You know, it'd be like, well, it's just another day. If I tried to stay up till 2.30 in the morning, I'd be wiped out. I feel for you, sister. I would be completely wiped. I'd be like jello. But he's saying, you really have no strength in yourself. But that's okay. Because I will flex my muscle for you. Because if you wait on me, if you connect with me, then whether I'm flying to the heights or taking my time, running the marathon, or even if I slow down enough for you, you'll be able to keep up with me. Because it's not you. Because it's God in you who will be doing it. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. But, but this next domino takes us to Luke. And we know in Luke the story of John the Baptist, right? And specifically, starting with verse 2, Ananias and Sapphias being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. And he came into all the country around country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And as it was written in the book of the words Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. 